My name is Brett Pauley and this is my Origins of Baseball Project. Have you ever wondered how something started in life? Where it came from, who thought of the idea, and when it was first brought to life? Well, I'm here to tell you how baseball was started. The very first variation of baseball was called Rules of Rounders, and it was founded in Britain in 1829. Then stool ball was invented by Dutch settlers in New York. Then barn ball was invented in New England. Town ball was invented in Massachusetts. Old Cat was invented by kids living in Brooklyn, New York. The New York game was invented in New York until it was transformed into baseball by Abner Doubleday. The very first baseball field was built in New York by a man named Alexander Cartwright and he named it Doubleday Field after Abner Doubleday. Alexander Cartwright also formed the very first baseball team called the New York Knickerbockers. Jim Creighton is the first pitcher to ever throw a shutout. Andy Cummings was the first pitcher to ever throw a curveball in 1867. The 1869 Cincinnati Red Stockings were the first professional baseball team. Albert Spalding's rookie debut took place in 1871. Albert Spalding and William Hubert will go on to invent what is today's National League in 1876. Lee Richmond will throw baseball's very first perfect game in 1880. Also, the polo grounds will be built. 1884 will be the very first year that there will be a World Series. This is also the same year that Moses Fleetwood Walker, baseball's first African American, will play his first game. Though Walker was the first African American to play baseball, Bud Fowler was the first African American to play baseball and get paid for it in 1887. Harry M. Stevens was the man who brought concession stands to ballparks, recreated the style of tickets, and also he invented the hot dog. Cy Young will have his rookie debut in 1890, and he will go on to have an award named after him. It is given to the best pitcher in the National League and the best pitcher in the American League. In 1891, the Athletics forgot to put Louis Bierbauer on the reserve list. The Pittsburgh team got him to play for their team, and many people thought this was an illegal move, which gave the Pittsburgh Pirates their name today. The 1892 Baltimore Orioles were known for cheating. The third baseman, John McGraw, would hold runners at third base by their belts so that they couldn't score. One day, Pete Browning unbuckled his belt, and when McGraw tried to hold on, Browning was still able to score, and McGraw was caught for cheating because he had Browning's belt in his hand. The Orioles also made the grounds crew put clay in front of home plate so that if they hit a ground ball, it would bounce really high in the sky, and they would have more time to run to first base safely. In 1893, George Treadwell is cut from a baseball team after four years just because people found out he was black. In 1895, the radio was invented. This helps baseball because if people were too busy to attend the game, they could just listen to the radio. In the late 1800s, it took nine balls to walk a batter. Today, it only takes four. Home plate used to be 45 feet away from the pitcher's mound. Now it's 60 feet, six inches away. Pitchers also had to throw underhand, but now you must throw the ball overhand. The batter used to be able to choose where they wanted the pitch to be. Nowadays, the batter does not get to choose. The pitcher is supposed to fool the hitter. In the late 1800s, the color and pattern of a player's uniform determined what position they played, and the color of their socks determined their team. Nowadays, every player has identical team uniforms. In 1901, a man named Charlie Grant had to tell people his name was Charlie Tokohama so that people would think that he was Native American and not black. Van Johnson created what is today's American League in 1901. In 1903, the first automobile was created. This made it easier to get to the ballpark, which brought more fans to the games. In 1906, the Chicago Cubs set a record for the most wins in a single season with 116 wins. This record will hold for 95 years until the 2001 Seattle Mariners tie the record. In 1908, Jack Norworth and Albert von Tilzer create a song called Take Me Out to the Ball Game, and it is nationally sung at every game. In 1910, President Taft stood up in the seventh inning to stretch his sore muscles, and when he stood up, the crowd stood up, in respect for the president because they thought that he was leaving. Everyone sat back down when Taft sat back down after stretching. This is known as the seventh inning stretch and is still done today. The 1914 Boston Braves are called the Miracle Boston Braves because they were 26-40 and 40 in July, but they ended up winning the World Series with a record of 94-59. and 59. This is the same year as Babe Ruth's rookie debut. The Star Spangled Banner is sung at a baseball game for the first time in 1915. In 1919, eight White Sox players are expelled from the MLB because they bet their team to lose in the World Series. This is known as the Black Sox scandal, and fans began to think baseball was a hoax. In 1920, Babe Ruth hit 59 home runs. This is important because it showed that baseball was not fake after the Black Sox scandal. Babe Ruth had saved baseball. In the same year, Ray Chapman is hit in the head with a baseball while batting. He will die in the hospital the next day. Rube Foster creates the Negro Leagues in the same year. 
Lou Gehrig has his rookie debut in 1923. In 1927, the television is invented. This helps baseball because now people can watch the game without having to be there. In 1939, Josh Gibson hits over 70 home runs and had a season batting average of 467. The single season record in any league history is 73 home runs and it is estimated that he hit over 70. Babe Ruth acquires the nickname The White Josh Gibson. In 1932, Babe Ruth walked up to the plate and pointed to center field. He hits a home run the very next pitch and he had called his home run. In the same year, Lou Gehrig will have a game where he hits four consecutive home runs. Joe DiMaggio will also have his rookie debut this year. In 1933, the very first MLB All-Star Game is held in Chicago. In 1935, the very first night game is played under stadium lights. Johnny Vandermeer becomes the only pitcher in MLB history to have back-to-back -back no hitters thrown. Ty Cobb, Babe Ruth, Honus Wagner, and Walter Johnson are the Hall of Fame class of 1936 the first Hall of Fame class ever. Cy Young and John McGraw are inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1937. Luke Gehrig and Albert Spalding are inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1939. This is the same year as Ted Williams' rookie debut. In 1941, Joe DiMaggio sets a record of getting a hit in 56 consecutive games. Ted Williams will hit a season batting average of 406. This will cause a huge debate on who should win MVP. It is eventually awarded to Joe DiMaggio. Lou Gehrig dies the same year to a disease known as ALS. In 1942, President Roosevelt issues the Green Light Letter, which states that even though there is a war involving the USA, baseball should not be stopped and they should continue on with the 1942 season. Many players left baseball to serve in the war, so Philip Wrigley sets up an All-American Girls Professional Baseball League in 1943, but only lasted until 1954 because all the players that left from the war came back and there was a need for this additional league. In 1944, Dottie Wilsey will strike out 205 batters in a rookie debut in the All-American Girls League. Joe Nuxhall was drafted by the Cincinnati Reds, and he pitched on June 12th as a 15-year-old for his rookie debut. The tri-cornered war bond baseball game was played by three teams, and it was played to raise money for the war. Kennesaw Mountain Landis is inducted into the Hall of Fame as MLB's first commissioner. In 1947, Branch Rickey signs Jackie Robinson to a contract to play for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Robinson was ridiculed and had racial slurs shouted at him during many games during the season, but his talent eventually showed baseball fans that anyone could play the game no matter what the color of the skin the players had. P.B. Reese was the shortstop for the Dodgers at the time, who was a white man born in Kentucky. Kentucky was known for being a racist state. One day in the middle of the game, Reese walks over to Jackie who was playing for space and just puts his arm around him. This showed the crowd of the game that it was not okay to discriminate someone due to the color of their skin. Jackie Robinson will later go on to win Rookie of the Year this season. 1947 was the first year that the World Series was televised. 1951 was the season that Mickey Mantle and Willie Mays both had their rookie debuts. 1954 is the year that Hank Aaron had his rookie debut. He will hit 755 home runs, which is the second most by any player in MLB history. Joe DiMaggio is elected into the Hall of Fame in 1955. Sandy Koufax and Roberto Clemente will have their rookie debuts in 1955. In 1958, the New York Giants and the Brooklyn Dodgers move to California and they become the San Francisco Giants and the Los Angeles Dodgers. This will give them many more fans because they don't have to share New York fans, and also they are the first California teams. Jackie Robinson becomes the first African American baseball player to be inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1962. Pete Rose has his rookie debut in 1963. He currently holds the record for most at-bats, most games played, most hits, and most singles in a career. In 1965, MLB's first indoor baseball stadium is built in Houston, Texas. In 1966, Ted Williams is inducted to the Hall of Fame, and Nolan Ryan has his rookie debut. Tom Seaver and Reggie Jackson have their rookie debuts in 1967. In 1972, Sandy Koufax is inducted into the Hall of Fame. Roberto Clemente dies in a plane crash, and Jackie Robinson dies of a heart attack in 1972. Roberto Clemente is inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1973. The American League establishes the designated hitter rule this season. In 1974, Mickey Mantle is inducted into the Hall of Fame. Tommy John, a pitcher for the Dodgers, gets a bad elbow injury and is given surgery and has to sit out a season. This is now known as Tommy John surgery, and many pitchers have had it since 1974. Frank Robinson becomes the first African-American manager in history to coach a team. He will coach the Indians from 1975 to 1977. Willie Mays is inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1979, and Nolan Ryan becomes the first player to ever make a million dollars in one season. Rube Foster is inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1981, and Cal Ripken Jr. has his rookie debut. He will hold the record for most consecutive games played with 2,632 games. In 1982, Hank Aaron and Frank Robinson are inducted into the Hall of Fame. 
Pee Wee Reese is induction into the Hall of Fame in 1984. Barry Bonds will have his rookie debut in 1986. He currently holds the record for most career home runs. In 1989, Ken Griffey Jr. has his rookie debut. In 1990, Ken Griffey Sr. and Ken Griffey Jr. become the first father and son to hit back-to-back -back home runs in a single game. In 1991, Nolan Ryan becomes the oldest player to throw a no-hitter at age 44. In 1992, Tom Seaver is inducted into the Hall of Fame. And in 1993, Reggie Jackson is inducted into the Hall of Fame. In 1994, the MLB goes on strike and there will not be a World Series game held that year. They go on strike because of salary disagreements. In 1995, Derek Jeter has his rookie debut. In 1997, the MLB requires every team to retire the number 42 in honor of Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson Day is held every April 15th and every player has the number 42 on their back, representing that everyone is the same. In 1998, two teams were added to the MLB, the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, making them the two youngest teams in MLB today. In 1999, Nolan Ryan is inducted into the Hall of Fame. After the tragic 9-11 attack, George Bush will throw out the first pitch at Yankee Stadium on October 30th, 2001. In 2005, the Anaheim Angels will change their name to the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim the only team to change their name four times without moving locations. On August 7th, 2007, Barry Bonds breaks Hank Aaron's home run record with his 756th home run. Cal Ripken Jr. will be inducted into the Hall of Fame the same year. In 2015, Randy Johnson will be inducted to the Hall of Fame. In 2016, the Chicago Cubs won their first World Series in 108 years, breaking the longest championship drought in American professional sports history. Ken Griffey Jr. is inducted into the Hall of Fame that same year. Vladimir Guerrero and Chipper Jones are inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2018. 